These are Mexican jumping beans that we got in Ensenada. You can see them moving ever so slowly. These aren't moving. These aren't moving. So supposing there are worms inside of these that turn into moths or butterflies, some sort of flying creatures, and they're, they are born inside of these little nutshells. And they move around, so it looks like they're jumping and it looks like they're beans. This is the most active one. So the lesson we learned is in Ensenada, they were three dollars each or two for five dollars, which means two fifty, and we negotiated them down to three for five dollars. So they're cheaper. So in Mexico, the culture is to negotiate and bargain, and we got some other things for far less than what they asked for. I think they were asking forty dollars for something that we ended up getting for twenty dollars. So the discounts are pretty deep. So here is the Mexican jumping beans in action. And they're pretty cool. And these were these. See that one started moving now. So that one's there. Is this one moving? I think if you start messing around with them and shaking them, then they they are not active and by opening the lids they get fresh air. So they they, 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 they came in, they're not gonna fly out though. Oopsie. See the this is Kyle's Playtime Science. So you can see the beans. How you bean? Jumping bean. And they're just moving on their own. What do you think about them, Kyle? They're pretty good. They're pretty neat? So that is the jumping beans. We got them in 2003. Well, we'll see if they hatch, so to speak, or evolve or morph into something beyond just being a jumping bean. I think, yeah, because I've seen these in containers before, and now all of a sudden it opens up and there's like a moth, but it dies. So our goal is to let it come out and then free it.